Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the report published by Economic Times in September 2023, the Indian Army is seeking lighter and more advanced stored artillery guns to replace the current DRDO developed ATACs. The new towed gun system or TGS is expected to be more versatile and have higher automation and accuracy. The new TGS will be developed and manufactured in India and will be the mainstay of the towed artillery gun system. The Army has engaged in discussions with manufacturers for suggestions on features for the future artillery weapon. Interactions are on with the industry to draw up the qualitative parameters for the new TGS. Indian Army is looking to procure close to 1200 such guns in future. Now, the question is, will this impact the orders for ATACs? The report says that new TGS will replace the DRDO's ATACs. Therefore, there is going to be definite impact on the future orders of the ATACs. If we talk about the present order, the RFP for the ATACs has already been issued. The order for 307 ATACs will be split between Tata and Bharat Forge. The army is awaiting commercial offers from two companies to take the process forward. The lowest bidder will be awarded 60% of the contract and the other company will get 40% provided they match the price offered by the lowest bidder. Now, as per the previous report, the army has projected the requirement of 1580 ATAX gun. This requirement might be pruned if army is looking for light artillery gun to be its mainstay and replacement of ATAX. Now let's talk about the light artillery gun and the options at present. The Indian Army has inducted 145 American M777 Howitzers, which forms the seven regiments. These Howitzers were procured at a cost of $750 million. The M777 weighs 4.2 tons and can be easily transported using Indian Air Force Chinook helicopters and C-130J Super Hercules transport aircrafts. The range of these guns varies from 21 to 30 kilometers depending upon the type of ammunition used. They can also fire X caliber rounds up to a distance of 40 km. It has a rate of fire of 2 rounds per minute in sustained mode and 5 rounds per minute in rapid mode. Several of these howitzers are deployed in Ladakh area and northeastern state of Arunachal Pradesh at the border with China. The Bharat Forge has also developed an indigenous alternative to American M27 Hoyers known as 155mm 39 caliber ULH also known as Mountain Artillery Gun or MAG. The Kalani group has developed two versions of this gun. The all titanium version of ULH weighs 4.8 tons and the all steel version of the ULH weighs 6.8 tons. The advantage of titanium being lightweight comes with difficulty of maintenance. Steel is more malleable, easy to maintain and of course cheaper. A third variant of this gun is also developed based on the feedback from late CDS General Weapon Rawat. This was all steel ULH mounted on an Ashok Leland General Utility Truck for mobility in mountainous terrain. For improved accuracy and consistency, the gun features digital fire control. The gun has two types of recoil system, conventional recoil and advanced hybrid recoil. The hybrid recoil is more advanced than conventional as it incorporates the state-of-art advanced recoil system which further brings down the weight of the gun to less than 4.5 tons. The ULH has a range of 22.4 km with an unassisted artillery and 30 km with an assisted artillery similar to that of M777. It has two modes of firing. In intense mode, the gun can fire four rounds per minute for three minutes. In sustained mode, it can fire one or two rounds per minute and only limited by the tube temperature. During the Defense Expo 2022, Bharat Forge has showcased its 155mm 52 caliber extended range mountain artillery gun or MAG ER, which is an upgraded version of the mountain artillery gun. The new MAG ER weighs less than 8 tons and gun can be deployed easily at high altitude region with digital fire control. It has an impressive range of 41 kilometers. The gun is highly reliable with low maintenance cost. The gun has impressive firepower with rate of fire of the gun being 12 rounds in 3 minutes in intense mode and 42 rounds in 60 minutes in sustained mode. 
इन बर्स्ट मोड टू गन गन फायर थ्री राउंड इन थर्टी सेकेंड्स टू समराइज भारत फौज has two offerings for light artillery gun system which is mountain artillery gun and extended range mountain artillery gun at the moment the exact requirement of indian army's new toad gun system has not been finalized once the army comes back with its exact requirement it will be clear if the existing offerings of the artillery by bharat forge can fulfill army's requirement or it's going to be completely new design This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.